Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel where we post daily videos on cutting edge technologies. Do you know that developers spend around 30 to 40% of their time just writing code? Imagine what could be achieved if there were a tool to reduce this time, allowing them to enhance their creativity and put extra effort into creating something new. Well, that's exactly what autocode generation tools do. They aim to revolutionize the coding process by automatically generating code snippets based on user input. So the best example for such type of tool is Polycoder. Polycoder is an autocode generation model developed to assist programmers in writing code. It is an open source model based on OpenAI's GPT-2 language model that can generate code in 12 languages. But specifically, it better understands C language and outperforms other models. So let's see how Polycoder actually works. If you want to learn about the details of Polycoder, you can always go to this GitHub account that provides all the details about the Polycoder. You can see that there are different types of training data and it has complete information about the model. It shows that there are three available models for the Polycoder 160M, 0.4B and 2.7B. In this video, we are going to be using the Polycoder 2.7B model. Then you can see that it has provided us a sample code in order to test the working of Polycoder. And in the requirements, it says that it requires the newest version of Transformers, which is 4.23.0. And this is the code. So from the code, you can see firstly, we want to have the Transformers library. So in this video, I'm going to be using the Google Colab notebook in order to run the project. So the first thing is to download the Transformers library and ensure that the version is 4.23.0. But instead of simply downloading the Transformers using the pip, I'm going to be downloading the Transformers library from the GitHub page of the Hugging Face because the Polycoder model is also present on the GitHub. So in order to ensure its compatibility with the Transformers, I'm going to be importing the Transformers from the GitHub account of Hugging Face. So you're going to say pip install git and then provide the link where the Transformers library is present on the GitHub. Once you are happy with the command, go ahead and run it and it will take some time in order to clone the repository and set up Transformers here in your notebook. Alright, so the Transformers has been successfully downloaded and installed into the notebook. Now, the next step is to write the code here. So you have to go to this link and you have to copy all of this code from here. And once the code is copied, go back to your notebook and you have to paste all the code right here. Now let's go through the code one by one. Firstly, it is importing the required libraries and packages in order to make this code run. So in the first line, it is importing the Transformers library, which is a popular library for working with natural language processing models, including pre-trained models for tasks like text generation and language understanding. Then in the second line from the Transformers package, it is importing the libraries like Auto Tokenizer and Auto Model for casual NM. The Auto Tokenizer is used for tokenizing the input text, and Auto Model for casual NM is used to load a pre trained language model for the casual language modeling. And this is being done because our polycoder is a pre trained model. Then in the next lines, it is importing the version modules from the packaging library, which will be used to check the version of the Transformers library later on in the code. Because if you remember that here in the requirement, it says that we need Transformer version 4.23.0 in order to be compatible with the polycoder. So we are using it to test the version of the Transformers library. Then. In the next line, we are using the assert function and you already know that assert is used for testing. So this line checks whether the version of the Transformers library is greater than or equal to the version 4.23.0. And if not, then it raises an assertion error. This ensures that the code runs with a compatible version of the Transformers library. Then on the next line, we are initializing the tokenizer using the pre-trained Polycoder 2.7b model. The tokenizer is responsible for converting the input text into a format suitable for the model. Then on the next line, we are loading 
द प्री ट्रेंड पॉलीकोडर टू पॉइंट सेवन बी मॉडल फॉर द कैजुअल लैंग्वेज मॉडलिंग दिस मॉडल इज केपेबल ऑफ जनरेटिंग कोहेरेंट टेक्स बेस्ड ऑन गिवन प्रॉम्प देन ऑन द नेक्स्ट लाइन वी आर डिफाइनिंग द प्रॉम एंड दिस प्रॉम्प्ट इज एक्चुअली अ मल्टी लाइन स्ट्रिंग रिप्रेजेंटिंग अ पार्शल पाइथन फंक्शन डेफिनेशन फॉर द बाइंड रिसर्च एंड दिस प्रॉम्प्ट विल बी यूज एज इनपुट फॉर द टेक्स जनरेशन और द कोड कम्पलीशन then the next line tokenizes the input prompt and converts it into input ids which are suitable for the model the return tensors equals to pt argument specifies that pytorch tensors should be returned overall this line is going to tokenize the prompt which we have passed as a parameter and will convert it into input ids which are suitable for the model to process and then finally we are using the model dot generate function which generates text based on the provided input prompt using the pre trained model it specifies parameters such as the max length which is the maximum length of the generated text then num beams which is the number of beams for the beam search and num return sequences that defines a number of alternative sequences to be generated so you can always go ahead and change these values for the maximum length i am going to change it to be 80 and then the response generated by the code will be stored inside the result variable then we are going to iterate through the results which contains text sequences so we are going to iterate through each text sequence decode it and then print each generated sequence of text using the tokenizer so that it can be converted back to the human readable form okay so this is the basic code in order to use the polycoder to generate the response on the basis of the specific prompt here in the prompt we have provided it the partial code for the binary search function and let's see if it is able to complete this code or not so in this example we are actually testing the code completion feature of polycoder so let's go ahead and run this and for the first time running it it will take quite some time because it will reload the required torch libraries and some other packages which are very heavy and might take a lot of time but for the remaining runs it will run in a matter of few minutes so you can see that here it is downloading the pytorch model which is 9.98 gb so it will take some time to download it but this will only be downloaded for the first run of the code and for all the remaining runs this model will be pre downloaded all right so the response is generated Once again, I'm going to show you the prompt that here I provided it half definition for the binary search function, and if you can see the output, it has provided me the complete implementation for the binary search function in various ways. You can see that it has provided me four different definitions of the binary search function, and all of them are having a different logic, but all of them work exactly the same. so you can see that polycoder is able to complete the code by using its code completion feature so now i'm going to test it that how it generates the code for the python language for that i'm going to provide it the prompt python code that takes a number as input from the user and prints fibonacci series until that number let's go ahead and run this and see how it responds to our prompt all right so the response is generated but you can see that it has not provided me the code for the prompt which i provided to it and if you go to the documentation of polycoder if you scroll down you will see that the perplexity of the python language is much higher than the all other languages so maybe this is the reason that it was unable to generate the code in the python language now i'm going to change the language from python to c and let's see if it is able to generate the code for us or not and for the max length i'm going to change it to 80 let's go ahead and run this once again all right so the response is generated and you can see that it has provided me the entire code for the fibonacci series in the c language so you can see right when i provided it the prompt to provide me the code in the python language it was unable to do so but when i provided it the language to be c now it has comfortably generated the code for us so this means that polycoder works best and most comfortably with the c language but since its perplexity for python is much higher because of that it is unable to generate the code 
for the Python language. But maybe in the future, they may update the polycoder and it will be able to generate code for the Python language as well. So in this way, you can use the polycoder to help you generate code as well as perform auto completion by providing a single prompt to it. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.